Hey, so this is step two to the first video. First video, we spoke about how barber shops, when they're listing a chair, what they will see on the admin dashboard, right? So this is the homepage right here. You would go on dashboard if you have if you are a barber shop owner and you want to list a chair. And last video, uh, we went over manage shop, right? Now, this time we're going to go over inventory and how do you actually post or list a chair? How does the process work? Right. So Golden State Barbershop uh, in Selma, California, they have listed four chairs that they have available. This is the date that they, list, that they listed it on. How do you list yours? Uh, right here, add new product. Add new product. Just go one by one. Internal name reference. Uh, this is going to be an internal name for your own shop. So if you have four or five different barber chairs that are available that you want to rent out, say uh, first barber chair right um brand this is going to be turned off for you guys don't worry about it product category this is going to be barber shops tax category trial tax uh this is your the since the you guys are providing a service the tax is not going to be calculated this is marked down as zero on the back end um product name just copy this and a uh, YouTube video URL. We recommend that you add a YouTube video on here. This is going to show up directly on the front facing of your listing. Uh, put make a video of your make a very nice video of your barbershop in operation and post it right here so you can show the video off. Right and description same exact thing. Uh, describe your shop about why would a barber want to come and work there? What sets you guys apart from other barber shops? What are you guys better at? Right. So sell yourself directly right here. Show off the location, your services, your experience, your awards. They're on their fourth. Right. After creating this, uh, let's just say test. Let's move on to the next. This is a description for the description. Uh, add your city. Uh, describe your city. Right. So let's just keep it very simple. It's just going to be Fresno. California. This is going to show up on the front facing of the listing image, right? And mark it as featured. I got you guys. Next options tags, ignore it. Shipping information, ignore it. Custom fields. This is where it gets fun, right? So uh, amenities, uh, uh, apply all amenities that you as a barbershop owner, you provide to your barber shop, right? So break rooms, snacks, parkings, ATMs, uh, if you provide tools, uh, sanitation stations, uh, lighting, every single amenity that you can think of, uh, attach it, right? So let's just say you hover all of these and it goes on, that's currently in process, but you can see usable. Uh, <laughs> utilities, what utilities do you provide to your barbers? Uh, electricity, water, gas, renters, insurance, if you provide it, you want them to bring it. Um, internet service, they're on, they forth, uh, attach any and all that apply to you. Next is going to be, uh, describe your barber shop to the barber, right? How many, to how many total chairs do you have in your shop? eight to 12. What's the store culture? It's more customer focused, edgy, old fashioned, trendy, influence. It, the list goes on. Uh, you'll be able to see this fully configured out. Team age group. These are just different ages of the, uh, what's the age group of the people that work there? Why do we ask this? So when the barber is looking at your chair that you listed, they already have a very good idea of your shop, right? They know the type of people, the age group of the people that work there. What is the culture of your shop? right what's the traffic like is it walk-in or appointment who holds the keys languages that are spoken days that are open and licensing that's required right so team age group let's say you have mostly 25 to 29 year olds that work there right select that next is going to be shop traffic so do you have walk-ins uh, mostly 90% of the time, do you have appointments only or is it walk-in and appointment? Keep the walk-in and appointment very black and white, right? If you have both, like most barbershops do, select walk-in and appointment. After this is going to be shop access. Who holds the key to the to your barbershop after the barber comes there to rent your chair, right? So do you hold the key? Does a barber hold the key or do you have a pin pad lock on it? Right. So pick whichever, whichever one that applies. Let's just say it's preset hours. It opens here, closes here. Thank you very much. Languages spoken. Again, we have around 50 or we have the top 20 languages spoken inside of the United States. So English, Spanish, and let's say Vietnamese. You guys speak in your shop. Next, days that you guys are open. Uh, Monday is National Barber Holiday. So let's not do that. Uh, but if you guys want to work, let's 
let's make you guys work all seven days okay and pick the timings that you guys are open and close like those two or if it's 24 7. next is going to be barber requirements uh what experience do you require from the barber that's renting your chair six months plus one year two year three four five six they're on their fourth let's select the six months plus and license requirements all california barbers are must be licensed to cut hair right so pick a license that you require them to have and submit location again fresno california i know i asked you guys look for your location a lot of times but we're getting better at it all right next is media so right here this is about your product so attach as many photos as you possibly can of your barber chair barber chair and barber location i will i will attach another video of how to take these photos and exactly what to take the photos of but take as many as possible upload as many as possible uh, we're not going to charge you guys for uploading a lot and uh show off your shop and after that is going to be inventory so describe your pricing inventory is based upon pricing and duration exactly what are you going to charge uh, how much uh, is it going to be a security deposit or not and uh what's the duration of it right so right here a uh, post title let's say what's your barber shop name fresno barber shop uh keyword fresno barber b-a-r-b b-r-s-h-o-p right next is publish yes always publish available from what day is your chair going to be available so uh, if there's currently someone on it but you know they're leaving in a week then make your availability in a week today is the 17th as i'm making this video of january 2024 uh, my chair is going to be free on the 22nd okay now on the front end when the barber looks at your profile they will know that this chair is going to be it's not it's going to be unavailable from any time before the 22nd right when 20 22nd starts the chair is going to automatically become available and it'll, everyone will have access to book it right product condition new use refurbish uh this is just about your barber chair right so put new or used as in how long or is it new or used right you get the point uh ignore this uh rental duration type do you want to rent it out for days do you want to rent it out for weeks do you want to do months right so our standard is, is a is a week so uh in our area 150 dollars uh per or mental minimum rental duration how many weeks are you planning on that you want to set the duration for uh as in how long can a barber rent your chair out for at a, any given time minimum duration? So you, minimum can be a day, week, or a month. Pick one, put it right here. We selected weeks, so let's say it has to be a minimum of one week, right? Fulfillment, pick up only. Work with me on this. And then shipping profile is going to be order level shipping, minimum rental quality, uh, quantity. This is just going to be one at a time, All right? So just attach one right here uh this is enable request for a quote if a barber wants to negotiate pricing with you on that specific chair for any given amount reason then uh they will click it on the front end you guys will receive a notification of whatever the barber is negotiating with you guys with right in our internal messaging system uh security amount uh do you want to charge them a security deposit when they're renting it uh, security deposit is going to be refundable but uh let's just say one right here always uh, buffer days after a barber comes in and then moves out let's say a barber showed up today they're moving out at the end of the day uh, today right how long do you need to make that station available again so that's that describes a uh, buffer days so let's say you need one day to do that original price uh original price you're not selling anything we will start as soon but for now just leave a blank rental price is how much are you renting your chair out for right 150 per week 200 per week 500 per week right stay inside of guidelines but it's going to be let's say fresno 150 right 150 available quantity how many chairs uh you have to make multiple listings per chair so say uh, available quantity is going to be one quantity of this chair is available right right here is additional comments for the buyer and uh rental terms and condition additional comments for buyer uh the, the buyer uh, the barber is going to see this on the front end right so what additional comments do you want to show them um so they'll be a lot more comfortable or introduced to your shop before coming to your barber shop or renting a chair before right uh and then after it's going to be rental terms and conditions again we have our standard disclosures but if you guys want to put anything extra put it on
save changes and you should be good to go inventory setup and your barber chair is live let's say fresno barbershop uh, we'll go right here and search fresno barbershop 